Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to Zen Innovations and here is my multimeter today and as you can see here, as we turn it on, it starts showing some kind of random garbage value. Now I can hit zero and again uh, the display starts changing and it keeps accelerating on its own. So basically that's, uh, this display has got a mind of its own. Let me change the modes for you and show you. So guys, as you can see here, it is already picking up some kind of garbage value. Now in this video, I am going to offer you a complete solution how you can uh, repair or service your multimeter. And before that, uh, let me uh, tell you a word about buying clamp meters. Guys, these clamp meters are, uh, you can say, a sort of lifetime investment. And whenever you buy one, make sure you buy a good one. So this is the one which I brought in 2006. And as you can see, it's pretty old and it has been serving me very faithfully all these years. And this is an AC-DC clamp meter. Basically, this is a true RMS clamp meter which comes with a Hall effect kind of sensor. And guys, if you want to buy good uh, clamp meters like this, you will find a lot of links in description below. So you can go there and uh, purchase good clamp meters. Guys, uh, lately in the market, I have seen that a lot of cheap uh, clamp meters have come. And the problem with them is that they can only measure uh, AC amperes on the clamp. Basically, they cannot measure a DC amperage on the clamp. So if you are looking to buy these clamp meters to check your solar energy or to check your batteries and things, then those kind of clamp meters are entirely useless and people end up uh, wrongly buying them and then regretting them later on. So guys, make sure you check the description below and you will find some good links to buy good uh, AC and DC to RMS clamp meters. Now coming back to this problem, now I think first uh, step that we will do here is that we will uh, first change the battery of this clamp meter. Now guys, make sure you always buy an original battery. What we uh, often end up doing is that we buy those, uh, you know, local blue and white color of batteries and those kind of batteries are often uh, uh, duplicate or of inferior quality. So here is a battery which I brought from Amazon and you will again find the buying links to purchase this kind of battery in the description below. And here is how the Amazon has sent me. I don't know why they are doing this. So uh, basically their packaging has gone down but uh, hopefully the battery would be fine. Uh, there is nothing wrong with the battery. So let's go ahead and install this battery in the clamp meter. So the clamp meter has a screw over here and let me quickly open it for you. You will need uh, this kind of Phillips screwdriver which is a small four-way screwdriver and we will be opening this screw. Make sure you turn off your clamp meter before opening it up. So here it goes. Alright, so with the screw undone, I simply lift this cover and out it comes. So this is the kind of that blue and white battery which I was talking about. Now these batteries are pretty pathetic and I hope that this uh, original battery will give me a far better uh, accuracy and better battery life out of this good quality multimeter. So let's replace it. Guys, uh, as you can see here, there is a polarity marked on this uh, battery holder and as we see here, you have uh, the plus and minus symbols. So the small terminal, this one is the plus one and this white terminal is the negative. As you can see, uh, it's written over here. This, uh, this terminal which has these kind of lines on it is the negative one and this smaller terminal is the positive one. So let's install the battery. Guys, installing the battery is pretty easy. And as we can see here, this smaller terminal is the positive one which goes over here. We simply place the battery and press it in and there we are done. So this is how the battery is installed. And now what remains is to put this cover back. So let's do it. Alright guys, so the battery is installed and let's see uh, if uh, this kind of problem has been solved. Let's hit zero and over here we can see that the display has become very stable and it is uh, staying somewhere around zero. Now this 0 0.1, 0 0.2 uh, readings happen because there is some kind of a magnetic field in the air and uh, you know the sensitive clamp meters often show this kind of readings. So this is not a problem, this is normal behavior for this clamp meter. But you can hit zero and then it stays nicely somewhere around zero. So I guess uh, you like this video and before we end this video, let's check what kind of uh, charge voltage was remaining in this old blue and white battery. So let me put this multimeter in a DC voltage range for you guys and let's test this battery. So here goes the probes. And 
and as we see here the old battery was even below 5 volts so 4.7 volts for this old battery and understandably we can see that this uh, blue and white battery was causing problems for accuracy of this clamp meter guys if you like seeing videos like this then subscribe to this channel and make sure to share this video with your friends we will see you again in a next video take care and have a nice day